Now, as you just saw in the previous training video, you can break your text into columns. So, for example, we took our um, cleaner and common max and broke it from one column into two. Now, what if you want to combine them back into one column? There's no button in Excel 2007 that will help us do that. But Excel does have two different formulas that you can combine these back together, the first name and last name, for example. Now, to get started, I want to create a separate column here, a blank one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on column D, the header, right-click on the header column, and then insert and shift this over. Click in the cell, and I'm going to go ahead and type in one of two formulas. The first is the basic formula, where you can go ahead and just hit the equal sign on the keyboard. Which one do I want first, last name or comma first? I'll go ahead and click in the last name column, B5. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key and hit the number 7, which is the ampersand. And then what I want to do is, because I want to break up or separate the last name from the first name, I'm going to go ahead and add quotes, hit the comma, add a space, and then close my quotes, and then type in another ampersand, shift 7, and then click on max, or the cell C5, and then go ahead and hit enter. And then when I'm finished, instead of repeating that formula over and over again, I can just go ahead and uh, come up here, click and drag on the autofill handle to where it'll go ahead and copy and paste that same formula in the remaining cells. Now that's one way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete key and show you the other way. The other way is actually using a function. I'm going to hit equals and type in C-O-N. It's called the concatenate function. So you can see here it says it'll join some several text strings into one text string, or in other words, we want to combine these two columns. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. It opens up the function here, so I can go ahead and select my first text, which is going to be uh, B5. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit, you can see it's separated by a comma there, so I need to type in a comma, and then go to the next text string, which is max. And then when I'm finished, I can just go ahead and hit enter, and there it is. Clinger max, but I don't have a comma in there. And so I need to mess with the formula so it actually is updated, so I actually have clinger comma max and includes a space. So I'm going to click on that come up here in the formula bar and then what I want to do is I want to come and click after just after the comma here add quotes add a comma close quotes add another comma and you can see what's going on here is that in the function here I've got my B5 and then I have a comma that separates the quotes that inside the quotes anything you put within quotes just means it's going to display the actual character or the text or the number and it's not actually going to think that it's part of the formula or in this case the function then I separate the uh, quotes by another comma saying go ahead and continue on and add in the next field or in this case the next cell here which is C5 go ahead and hit enter and there it is clear and comma max Another cool thing about this concatenate feature is that you can add additional text. So, for example, I can click at the end of this, hit the comma again after C5, add more quotes, and say, be sure to close your quotes because if you don't, it's going to think that the text you're fired is part of the function here, and it's going to give you raspberries or problems. So go ahead and hit Enter. And then remember to double-click in between your column headers, D and E, if you want to expand to auto-fit so you can see everything within that column here. So it automatically fits the longest text or uh, cell within that column. So there you go, Max, you're fired. And of course, I can edit that as well to put a space in there, to put an asterisk, or whatever other characters I want to. And then when I'm finished, I can click and drag the autofill handle so it updates so everybody's fired and I no longer have a business. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is that when I click in these cells, up at the top, it's based upon a function. So if I come over here and I delete any of these, I'm not going to get the results I want. So, in other words, I can't have it combined into a name column unless, let me go ahead and hit undo, I take what I have here and I do a special paste. I go ahead and copy what's within this range and then I paste it back into the range but using a special paste. So I come up here on the Home tab in the Clipboard group and I click on the Paste Arrow button and I come down in here and I say just paste the values. So now when I go ahead and click anywhere in the cell here, up at the top it's no longer the formula, it's just the value or the result of that function or formula. So that way I can come over here, click on column B, and drag over to C, right-click those columns and delete it. Hey, looks good. And I can just double-click to automatically fit it to the longest text within that column, which is Clancy Wiggums, you're fired. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.